Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the second part of the video series on Make it Simple. Today we will use preposition with noun or gerund to form one simple sentence. The basics first. This video is in two parts. In part one, we will use preposition with gerund in order to make a simple sentence. First, let's understand what are prepositions. Prepositions are words which are used before noun or noun phrase, pronouns and gerunds. A gerund is the ing form of a verb. So, in this video, we are going to learn how to use a preposition plus gerund combination to form a simple sentence. On checking the records, she found mistakes. Now here, on checking is a preposition plus gerund combination. Here, on is the preposition and checking, that is the ing of check, is the gerund. Second example, he earns his livelihood by teaching small kids. Here, by teaching is the preposition plus gerund combo. By is the preposition and teaching, the ing of teach, is the gerund. Next example, in spite of trying hard, he did not win. Here, in spite of trying, is the preposition plus gerund combination. In spite of is the preposition. Trying, the ing of try, is the gerund. So these are sentences where we have seen how preposition plus gerund combination is used. So let's begin now using preposition with gerund. He checked the accounts. He found many errors. He checked the accounts is a simple sentence. Checked is the finite verb here. He found many errors is another simple sentence. And found is the finite verb in this sentence. Now we have to combine both of them to form one simple sentence, which means we have to knock out one finite verb or we have to convert it into a non-finite verb that is gerund, infinitive and so on. Here we will try and convert one of these two verbs into a gerund. Which one? Friends, to do this, we have to understand the question properly. The question says, he checked the accounts, he found many errors. It means that while checking the accounts, he found errors. That means both the actions were going on together. So therefore, we have to use the preposition on. And checked, the verb checked comes from the root verb check. So we have to use the ing that is checking. So checking is the gerund of checked. So we'll say on checking the accounts comma he found many errors. Now in this answer on checking is the preposition plus gerund combination. On is the preposition. Checking is the gerund. The answer contains only one finite verb that is found and therefore this sentence is a simple sentence. Next example. Rahul realized his mistake. He grew nervous. Realized is the finite verb in this sentence. Grew is the finite verb in the next sentence. Now we have to knock out any one finite verb, that is change it into a gerund. Which one? Let's understand the question first. First Rahul realized his mistake, then he grew nervous. That means we have to turn realized into a gerund, that is realizing. And as I said, 
first he realized his mistake then he grew nervous so therefore we have to use the preposition after so our answer will be after realizing his mistake rahul grew nervous so this is the answer now here after realizing is a preposition plus gerund combo after is the preposition realizing is the gerund in this answer grew is the only finite verb and therefore this answer is a simple sentence he worked hard he did not succeed here worked is one finite verb in this sentence did not succeed is the other finite verb in the other sentence now both these sentences are contrasting each other therefore we will use the preposition in spite of okay which action took place first that is working hard thereafter he did not succeed so therefore we have to turn worked into a gerund that is converted into ing working therefore our answer will be in spite of working hard he did not succeed so this is the answer here in spite of working is the preposition plus gerund combo in spite of is the preposition working is the gerund and in this answer did not succeed is the only finite verb therefore this answer is a simple sentence find out which action took place first and then convert it into ing secondly understand the question properly enough and accordingly use the preposition a suitable preposition now we come to part 2 of the video here we use a preposition with noun or a noun phrase for example first the sun rose the fog disappeared in the first sentence rose is one finite verb in the second sentence disappeared is the other finite verb now friends we have to combine both to form one simple sentence which means our answer should have only one finite verb so which one should we knock out first the sun rose this action took place first then the fog disappeared that is the second action took place so therefore we will convert this sun rose into a noun that is we will use sunrise and since this action took place first we will use the preposition after so here we will use a preposition with noun after is the preposition and sunrise is the noun so our answer will be after sunrise the fog disappeared so here after sunrise is the preposition plus noun combination after is the preposition sunrise is the noun disappeared is the only finite verb so therefore our answer is a simple sentence next they are rich they are unhappy are is the finite verb here are is the other finite verb they are unhappy there is a contrast which takes place therefore we will use the preposition in spite of now rich is an adjective so we'll convert it into a noun that is riches so we'll say in spite of their riches comma they are unhappy here in spite of is the preposition and their riches is the noun phrase so friends in this video we have learned to make a simple sentence using a preposition with noun and gerund thank you for watching this video in the next part that is third part of this video series we will make a simple sentence using a noun or a noun phrase in apposition do like share and subscribe bye